Your usual captain on Easy Friday, uh, John Cargo, the legendary, uh, who is not feeling well. So we wish him very quick uh, recovery. And uh, Shiksha Arora, who could not make it today because of unavoidable circumstances. So for today, I'll be your captain, and hopefully they join you on Friday. Our sign language interpreter tonight is Anne Estowangeshi, uh, Anne and my name is John Jacob Curie. Welcome to the bulletin. Now, President Uhuru Kenyatta has uh, directed the National Treasury to liaise with the head of Ocean and Blue Economy Office to work on a comprehensive policy to train 4,000 seafarers. The policy, according to the President, should have regulations aligned to that of East African states as well as the African Union. The head of state also wants an open ship register and a ship repair incentive package for ships anchoring and passing through the port of Mombasa. The President was speaking in Mombasa when he unveiled the Kenya Shipyards Limited, a new public entity under the Kenya Defense Forces. The new shipyard unveiled by President Uhuru Kenyatta on Friday in Mombasa has been touted as a game changer in Kenya's maritime history. Nisiku ya furaha, nisiku ya kujivunia, tukiwa inchi moja katia chache tu katika Afrika hii yetu ambao sasa wako na uwezo wa kujenga na kutengeneza meli zao and i think this is something we should all be very proud of the shipyards limited according to the head of state will provide a one stop shop for shipbuilding refit repair and maintenance once operational the shipyard will help unlock business and economic opportunities within the coastal region and the country as a whole. The president, however, decried prohibitive taxes, saying they impaired the full realization of Kenya's maritime economy's potential. Tukitaka kuhakikisha ya kwamba tumekam a truly industrialized nation, a truly upper middle income country. There is no way we shall achieve that without industrializing. Kwa hivyo, vile mimi na semanga sana, siyasa chache, kazi mingi. To unleash its growth, the head of state has directed the Oceans and Blue Economy Office, the Treasury, as well as the Fisheries Department to formulate a comprehensive national seafarers program that will train 4,000 professions. Fraha yangu ni kuona vijana wale wote ambao wanafanya kazi hapa pamoja na wenzao wa damen. Na miaka michache facility hii wale wote ambao watakuwa wana wana wana, wana jenga hizi meli wale wanafanya design za hizi meli watakuwa wa Afrika wa Kenya wenzetu watoto wetu wana uwezo ni nafasi ambayo hatuwapati we have uh, currently uh, trained up uh, close to 150 specialized uh, teams uh, in various areas including specialized uh, welding uh, which is critical to ship building he further directed the new facility to leverage on the untapped East Africa market and beyond. We want an open ship register and a ship repair and building uh, incentive package, a ship bunkering and channeling package that provides modalities for ensuring robust oil bunkering for ships, both domestic and foreign, calling on our ports, and also those passing through our oceans. A fiscal framework, zero rating import of fishing vessels in order to enhance investment in this subsector. Now to say that uh, we have attained our goals uh, will be uh, misleading. Uh, there is a lot more that we need to do uh, to continue uh, to better the processes uh, so that we can have a fast class uh, shipbuilding capability. The Kenya Shipyards Limited, domiciled in the Ministry of Defense, is the biggest such facility in the East African region and is expected to greatly cut Kenya's cost of shipbuilding and maintenance by billions of shillings. Junikari Sambele from Mombasa County for the Easy Friday.